reaction is pouring in from Houston to Washington on the news that President Joe Biden has nominated Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez to lead ICE, the nation's immigration and customs enforcement efforts. Our Michael Lapardi live right outside the Harris County Sheriff's Office with reaction to the president's pick. Michael? Dominique, we are outside of the sheriff's office, and we checked tonight from the point where I'm standing right now. It's about a 300-mile drive in this direction to get down to the Mexican border. If you want to drive to Washington, D.C., that's about 1,400 miles in this direction, and you can bet tonight that people on both ends of that drive are looking at the sheriff's work right here to see how he might lead this agency. Tonight, Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez is the choice to lead Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE. The news has people talking from Houston. I'm just really happy that the administration has seen his talent. To Washington. Uh, the president uh, looks forward to having someone in place in this position. Gonzalez has served as sheriff since 2017. Commissioner Adrian Garcia says he has the right experience for the new job. He brings compassion. Having been a Houston police officer, a police investigator, having handled some of the most complex investigations. From family separation to raids, the sheriff has taken to Twitter over the last few years to share his views on immigration issues. The executive director of the immigrant-led civil rights group, FIEL, hopes the nomination leads to changes at ICE. We don't want to be idealistic and say that everything is going to change overnight, but what we're hoping to see is that they're sweeping reforms and changes. If confirmed, Gonzalez wouldn't be the first Houstonian in a top immigration post. Back in 1977, the Senate approved city controller Leonel Castillo as Commissioner of Immigration and Naturalization. Now it's the sheriff who could be heading to the national stage to oversee the controversial issue. And so far, we have not heard from the sheriff himself about this announcement. If he does leave his current post, Commissioner Garcia told us that Commissioner's Court would likely have to pick someone and approve someone to fill the remainder of his term. Reporting live downtown, Michael Lopardi, KPRC 2 News. Thank